Hello there everyone and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm making a second video. The people will be pleased. We got a, little, a few little updates going on over here. For one, didn't want to completely throw you guys off, but I have pivoted my video filming section to now be on this side of the room because it looked pretty bad last video. I don't understand how lighting works. Um, but I'm learning. As you might notice, my ferrets are currently running around in the background here. Last video, I put them in their cage and I felt really bad. And it's just because I didn't want them to get in the way of my filming and get into all my stuff because I had some sharp objects out. So we've updated our system. I now have the no ferret zone. And this zone, listen up kids, this zone is an area for which ferrets are forbidden. It contains our pointies and our garbage. So this way, my ferrets can still be running around and I don't have to worry about them getting into stuff and hurting themselves because they're not very Now, Kenya, why are you on the floor? Now that's a very good question. Today, I think we should try and make some no-so ramp covers. This is my ferret's cage. Do you need to be in the rice box right now? Can you guys do that later? Please? Um, where were we? Yes, this is my ferret cage. It's an all living things ferret cage. I honestly don't remember any of the details about it besides the fact that it's all living things because I got it like three years ago and I don't keep the boxes for things, so I don't know. So I'm not gonna be doing too many videos on ferret care and daily maintenance and all that sort of stuff because I think there's a lot of awesome YouTubers who have already got that information out there. I'll even be linking down below a couple videos that I think are really helpful for ferret care and that sort of stuff. But I do just wanna say as a disclaimer, Ferrets are not caged animals. It is perfectly fine to have a cage for your ferrets. I have a cage for my ferrets. But if you have a ferret, you should not be leaving your ferret in the cage all day. They need to be able to run around. My ferrets get about 10 to 14 hours outside of their cage every day. So please, please, if I teach you one thing today, please know ferrets do not belong in a cage for their life. That is all I'm gonna say about that. Back to the video. This is sort of the platforms of what my ferret cage looks like. And these are the ramps that I have on them right now. I made these a couple months ago just because um, the ramps themselves, at least in the All Living Things cage, they're pretty terrible. I don't understand why someone would make this and think this is okay for ferrets. Like they have these little like bumps here. And I think that they're assuming that your ferret can somehow crawl up that, but all they do is just like slide down them and you get a lot of this noise. So clearly this isn't acceptable for them and they have a hard time in their cage without the ramp covers. I think that this sort of thing is super easy to make no so using the same sort of technique that we did in the last video where we were just tying fleece. So we're gonna give that a shot today and see if it works out. I've put together a list of things that I think I'm gonna need. Obviously, most important, we are gonna need fleece or some other type of fabric that doesn't fray. Don't be judging for the fact that I'm using the same fleece as I used last video. I don't have a lot of money. Um, as per usual, please make sure that you have washed any fabric that you're gonna be using for your ferrets beforehand with an unscented detergent. Fabric scissors. I'm not super sure I'm actually gonna need a ruler because I'm a big fan of just winging it, you know? So I have one just in case, but eh, we'll see. I just realized I don't have a marker or some sort of marking device. I should get that. Same one I used last video, light blue. That's going in the no ferret zone. I was, I was just a bit of a dum-dum and I did a step and forgot to, forgot to film it because I didn't hit the record button on my, on my laptop. So uh, Nova has come to help me feel a little better. Thank you. Do you still love me even though I'm a dum-dum? Thanks Nova. I love you too. So essentially what I just did is I cut out a square of fabric here and it's the size of the ramp wrapped in the fabric plus an extra three inches where we're gonna be making our ties on the sides. And then I went in and I marked, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, you can sort of see it. And then I marked a three inch border of everything. So what I'm gonna do 
now, which I'm actually gonna do off camera. Oh. Good night, sweet prince. What I'm gonna do now off camera is I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna cut little tabby tabs along this entire border. You'll see what I mean when I've done it. Go to that. I've done it. Basically what I've done here is I've cut out little tassels of each on each side. It doesn't really matter too much how big they are, I don't think, so long as it's consistent. When I do it, these are all like half inch to three quarter inch to an inch. Eh. I think the best way to go about doing this next is for me to just tie the sides together. So I'm gonna put these two sides together and then tie all of these ties. After my last video, I realized I tried to sound a lot like I knew what I was doing. I think that the the vibe of this channel, if you will, is gonna now become a lot less, hey, my name's Kenya, I'm gonna teach you how to do this thing, and more, my name's Kenya, I woke up at three in the morning after having a fever dream of how to do this thing. Let's see if it works. So to anyone who is comparing the vibes, if you will, of these two videos, I hope that that becomes apparent. Bryn, if you're watching, I think I can hear my roommate watching one of your videos from the other room. Just so you know. Oh, we're almost done. Okay, I was a little bit off at the end there. But only God can judge. I have this beautiful tied mess on my ramp cover. Now comes the part where I have to figure out how I want to do the top of this because these little tabby tabs need to be exposed because that's how it clips on to the layer of my cage. I don't know how your cage works. I think most of them have this sort of system going on. I think the easiest course of action for me to take is I'm gonna grab some tabs from the back and I'm gonna tie them to the ones in the front and sort of just see what happens. I think I might end up having to cut a couple of the tabs just so that I know that this can clip onto the cage. I'm gonna tie these sort of loose so that the fabric doesn't completely bunch up. I mean, the beauty of fleece is that it's super stretchy and you can pretty much just manhandle it around and it'll do what you want it to. Yeah, so, I mean, it's not, it's not beautiful. Well, I think it's beautiful. Others may disagree. But I think something like that might just be what we have to do with just, I think I have two or three of them knotted right here. I don't think that that's bad. And you're probably looking at this right now being like, what? what's going on? All in due time, things will work out. Because the next step is where the magic is really gonna happen. Do not fret, okay? Don't get, don't get too scared here. You're gonna take this off. Now, get ready for the real magic. We're gonna flip it inside out, riveting. And this, now, see, I think that that's kind of like cute and pretty, you know? I like it. So I'm gonna slip this ramp back into here. Oh boy. Oh geez. Looks like I am gonna have to cut these off. So I'm just gonna pull them through and I'll cut them off. I pulled these through. These are all the extra ones, and I'm just gonna, because I got no respect for no one. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah, so I think that what matters is that I'm able to pull this down enough that I can see those, because then it'll, this is not even, because then it'll clip onto my cage, and you don't really see this part of the ramp, at least in my cage. I don't know, maybe yours is different. So, so long as I can do that. I think it's gonna be no problem. Now, the real question here is, what do I want to do with these? Good timing, I was just about to talk about you. So, Altivo is my roommate's ferret, and he has a very nasty chewing habit. This fleece that he's laying on right now, if I were not here to watch him, it would not be here. I used to have a bunch of blankets and nice little stuff in our cage, but we had to take them out because he chewed a huge hole through them and that's just super dangerous. So because we have a ferret like Tebow that likes to chew, 
I think it's probably safer if I just cut these off because there's nothing else he's really gonna be able to chew on here. It's mostly loose blankets that he chews. So I'm just, I'm just gonna cut these little tabby bits off. You can kind of do whatever you want with them. Um, I don't know, maybe you could braid them, you could tie them. I think, you know, you could even like just leave it open because I think that, that that's fine. But the important thing is if you want to wash these, you're gonna have to pull out your ramps somehow. So maybe tying them isn't the best idea. I'm just gonna cut them off. So, you know, and the bottom is kind of shabby, but whatever. I'm just gonna tuck everything. Here we have it. This is a ramp cover that we have created. Oh, the bottom is actually really cute. I like that. I think that that's like, that's nice, you know? Um, so yeah, here's a ramp cover that we've created. Absolutely no sewing necessary. Um, so if you don't know how to sew, I got you back. Now let's uh, put it in their cage and just see what happens. Let's see how TiVo feels about it. Cause he's the only one that's awake right now. Yeah. Oh, he already knows what his job is. I need you. I need you to do a very important task. Listen up. I need you to go up this ramp for me. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Okay. Let's go up the ramp. Yeah? No. Yeah. Come on. You can do it. He went up the ramp. This is not safe. Good boy, LT Wall! Good boy! What a smart boy who knows how to use his feet! So, there you have it. We made a ramp cover. I might actually leave that in their cage. We just have one ramp cover that's different. We don't need this no more. Well, I hope that you enjoyed your time here. I hope that maybe this is useful to some people who need to make ramp covers for their ferret or rat or degu or... There's a lot of different animals that need ramp covers. How do you do it? Hell yeah. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching my video. Still don't know how to really do an outro. Thanks so much for everyone who has subscribed. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Um, and make sure you like this video, leave a comment if you want to, comments help me as well, and I will see you back here next week. I'm hoping that I can start uploading videos every week or week and a half. It kind of depends a little bit on my schedule because I am a university student and I have a job, so I'm kind of busy, but I'm trying my best here. See y'all later. Bye.